Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the newest release from Somber Studios. This is Invisigun Reloaded. And it's probably one of the coolest games you've never seen. Yes, in this game all the players are invisible, and I'm sure you have a ton of questions about that. The first thing I should note is this is not a simple hide and seek game, nor is it just pure chaos. There's actually quite a bit of skill and planning involved, but the basics are pretty simple. You move around using the directional pad, and you move one square per button press. You navigate a maze-like map, and if you see someone, you shoot them. And the goal is not simply to guess where the other players are, you need to be observant. If a player hits a wall, you'll see a flash with their color. And anytime you shoot or use your ability, you'll become visible. And finally, depending on the map, there may be interactive elements such as water, grass, or cameras that clue you into other players' locations. So if you think you found someone, find a good position, take your shot, and make a clean getaway. And that's just the basics. You could always take a more offensive approach. Or even bait out some attacks for your mind games. This game can still seem a little complicated for beginners. Just the idea of trying to move a character you can't see may seem pretty daunting. But as the movement is grid-based, after a quick run through the tutorial, it's actually surprisingly easy to get used to. Sure, you may hit a few walls along the way, but once you see that little flash, it's pretty easy to get your bearings back. And you can further enhance your gameplay by using character abilities. Each character has a special move that can be anything from hopping over obstacles, or quick dashes, to more aggressive close-range abilities such as a ground pound or a sword, to even more tactical moves such as setting up decoys or teleporters. This really helps mix up gameplay, and they all have cooldowns, so you can't really spam them. Invisigun Reloaded also offers a great variety of game types. For standard game modes, there's Zone Control, which is an invisible version of King of a Hill, Hunter, a variant of the normal mode, but you win by getting the most kills, and Beast Tamer, where the goal is to capture monsters by standing near them until they shrink. Once they do, they drop a coin and you grab it. Sounds easy, right? Well, anyone can grab the coin they dropped, so it's not just about trying to avoid getting shot long enough to get the coin, you're also trying to steal coins from others and sabotage their captures. And the monsters don't reset when people die either, so feel free to let other players do most of the work for you. And for those who want something simple, there's also casual modes, including Carrier, a mode where you just roll around on a ball and try to avoid combat. Also Deadline, your standard deathmatch mode, and land grab, where it's more about controlling the map rather than getting kills. And to top it all off, there's also a dedicated single player mode. This offers 9 unique stages for each character. The first 8 are puzzle challenges based around the character's unique abilities, and these can be pretty tricky sometimes. And they even have a hidden chip to grab if you're looking for some extra difficulty. Collecting these chips will unlock emotes and bullet skins. The ninth stage is actually a boss battle. These will test your skill if using the character's abilities, and if you manage to beat the boss, you'll even unlock one of three new characters. Online offers both quick play and private lobbies. You can even cross player of PC, and online even supports multiple players on a single switch. If you ever need more people to play with, I definitely suggest checking out the Invisigun Discord. And overall, yeah, this game may look a bit confusing at first glance, but it's actually a ton of fun. It released on PC a while ago, and I'm glad I can finally play it on a Switch. It makes for a great portable party game. And that's all for this video. If you want to check out Invisigun for PC, Switch, or PS4, I'll have links in the description. <laughs> Special thanks to Sombra Studio for providing the Switch code, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.